everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to you I'm going to be reading for the lovely star sign of gemini gemini this week i'm going to read your uh, poetic meditative words at the very end of the reading for a reason because i'm bringing something else into the mix as well so i just wanted to get straight into the reading for you and see what your overall energies are this week so what have we got for the lovely gemini's what have we got for gemini spirit what do they need to hear what do they need to see please bring out the cards on the table for me oh that definitely wants to come out got the nine of swords what else have we got for gemini please spirit Right then, Gems, what have we got for you this week? We've got Knight of Cups and we've got the Four of Swords. Okay, the Nine of Swords here comes out in the first position for you. And it's that old situation of that energy feeling of all eyes are on me. Okay, everybody's coming to me for an opinion. Everybody's coming for me uh, asking for help. And it's just saying you're feeling vulnerable. Okay, very vulnerable and exposed to others this week. And it comes as a warning really, because I work with colour and we've got the Knight of Cups. And I'm sure you had this a couple of weeks ago with the red of this lotus uh, flower. And it's like, it's starting to affect your you physically. Okay, playing on your heartstrings here. It's as though... Somebody could be trying to get a reaction from you as well, Gemini, by uh, playing on your heartstrings. The old look at me, look at me type of scenario because of the eyes in this card. It's like somebody's trying to say, look what you're doing to me. Uh, look how this is affecting me. But deep down, it's affecting you more than it is affecting them. This could be a relationship. This could just be uh, within your own family. This could be within your work ethics where everybody is putting the pressure on you and you are feeling the pressure and your heart is being affected in some shape, way or form. It could be that you've, you're getting heart palpitations, your heart's racing because you're under stress. Do you know what I mean? So it's just saying, it's a red warning sign because I've got the colour red and it's just saying, and with the four of swords here, it's like a message from spirit to say you need to take a load off. You're doing too much, you're taking on too, uh, too much of others' responsibilities. Hence why some of you aren't sleeping properly either okay and heaven the divine is saying to you you've got to get back into a routine you've got to stop um thinking you've got to be doing everything for everybody else because it's starting to take effect let's just get a, get a clarifier on that for you then gems what else have we got for gemini please what else have we got for gemini Oh, three wanted to come out. So we have coming apart, okay, which makes sense. This is where you feel torn between thinking, oh, you know, have I got to be there? Have I got to be the support? Um, but it's, it's starting to take toll, gems. It's starting to take toll. We've got encouragement, okay? And this is like to say, you've got to give the encouragement to this person or people or whatever it is, saying... I can't do this anymore, okay? I cannot do this anymore. It's like this mountain comes in because this is how you feel. You're just like looking up to this uh, burden, this responsibility, like um, this mountain has been put in front of you to climb and it's too much, okay? It's all getting too much for you, Gemini. And the encouragement comes in here Things are a tall order. I also got the giraffe has been obviously the tallness of the giraffe and everything becomes a tall order and it's encouragement to say, I've just got to put this responsibility onto somebody else's shoulders or I've got to be honest to this person and say, look, I care, you know, I do understand, but I've got to have my space. I've got to have my space, okay? So, 
let's have a look at your inner psyche and how that is feeling this week. How is Gemini feeling this week? Deep within the hidden spiritual psyche of Gemini. Wow, says it for you. Look, gems lighten your load. Even your own spiritual energy within you is saying you can't do this anymore. You cannot literally carry the world and everything on your shoulders. Okay, so it's saying you've got to lighten your load. Lighten your burden, speak your truth this week, gems. So let's have a look how the universe sees you down the camera lens. And I'll show you this card here. And this is like the magician. Okay, and there's a hazard warning. I also got the triangle as a hazard because you know if you break down, they give you those little triangles, don't they, at the side of the road to say, just to be mindful that you've broken down at the side of the road. And it's like to say, if you don't stop being the magician and trying to pull everything out of a hat, there's a warning sign here to say, you know, you're going to crash and burn. Hence why the hazard warning, and this is what you need to get back in your life. You need to get some peace. You need to get some peace. Uh, back in your life at this moment in time you can no longer be this magician trying to meet everybody's needs so let's look at your animal spirits for this week then Gemini what else have we got for Gemini please what else do they need to hear what else do they need to see wow and we've got the alchemical sign of earth and the alchemical sign of fire which is the gazelle. The gazelle is the energy that is around you. These are the people who are sitting pretty and letting you get on uh, with everything. Okay? So this is the energy where somebody is just saying, oh, well, let her get on with it, let him get on with it. Do you know what I mean? And this is you, little lammy lamb, who's so vulnerable, okay? Um, and it's like saying somebody is putting on you. I feel like somebody is putting on you this week as well. While they're sitting pretty, I've got a care in the world, you, little lammy lamb, feeling really weak and vulnerable, and everything is being put on to you, okay? And this is what the universe is saying, you've got to take heed of this, whatever this situation is. Um, there could be a vulnerability if it's a romantic situation. If I was looking at this on a romantic, then it's like to say somebody is playing on your heartstrings, and it's as though they've got eyes for somebody else. And hence why they're the gazelle sitting pretty, watching the sunset. And then they, they look at you and think, ah, oh, then I'm the wiser. Okay? Pulling the, pulling the wool over your eyes. That's what I want to say. Somebody's trying to pull the wool over your eyes, uh, Gemini. So let's have a look what spirit want to say to you then. What have we got from the spirit messages this week? the lovely Geminis and we've got seek and when I look at this it's like to say you're not seeing the true full picture spirit is saying you're in the dark at the moment somebody is keeping you in the dark you're not being told the truth okay and it says the power of spirit exists in all things everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit including you we are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So, yeah, that just saying to you there, um, you're not seeing the full picture, okay? And you need to seek for answers, Gemini. So let's just get another message from the spiritual realms and just see what other message we've got coming out for the lovely Geminis. And we have positive outcome. Oh, wow, that's lovely. Okay, sorry for the nudity, there is nudity on these cards, but it says there is hope, don't give up now, have faith, trust, the forces of love are at work behind the scenes, expect a joyous and positive outcome. And pink is the colour of love and spirit are sending love around you to protect you at this moment in time. A positive outcome will come from this. And I always remind people, if it is in a relationship and you do find out your other partner has been cheating, okay, then it's a blessing in disguise because why would you want to be in a relationship with somebody who cheats behind your back? 
So therefore, allow that release, allow that hurt to be a lesson and take on board that there is somebody meant for you better out there as well, okay? So I'm going to read you my poetic words I had for you this week, Gemini, and they were, when all the world is sleeping, you are watching the hands of time, wondering if there is a tomorrow when it has your dreams in mind, feeling left out and isolated has started to become the norm. Soon the rain clouds will pass chase the rainbows through the storm and that's what I want to say to you chase those rainbows even though you've got storm clouds around you at this moment in time the rainbow will come out and as it says here there is hope okay now I wanted to bring out another little thing this week and that was um, for some of you when you're out and about you could be in the supermarket driving the car uh, just on YouTube and you could see it down the ladder but for some of you you are going to hear a song by the artist um, Ariana Grande okay and whatever that song will be obviously it's not going to be for all of you but I do feel that there will be some of you out there this week that will hear of a song by Ariana Grande and whatever song it is drop the title in the description box below and I will try and work out spiritually what they're trying to tell you and why you had to hear that song this week okay my lovelies so don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because there's other artists on there that may associate and what you may hear. So, my lovelies, um, I will look forward to reading to you next time. So, take care. Bye then.